Okay, to give you a little perspective of how close things are here in Jerusalem and in our day and in the time of Jesus Christ. This here is the Garden of Gethsemane. There's olive trees behind that white wall and that's the church at the Garden of Gethsemane that I was just in. And as we pan left, you'll see the at the end of that wall, you can barely see behind that bus, there's the tomb of Mary, which is totally unimpressive. And as we pan farther around, you'll see the wall of the old city, which is where I live. And I walked all across that wall for two hours the other day to get a picture of the Mount of Olives. You'll see that tower up there. Right next to that tower, you'll see a little opening if you look real close. That is the Praetorium where Jesus was flogged and where uh, Pilate said, give us Barabbas or give us Jesus. That was where that was. And that tower there is the Eastern Gate, I believe they call it. It's where uh, in Ezekiel that um, is prophesied that those gates are supposed to be opened when the Messiah returns eventually. Okay, that's a very long wall. It goes all the way around the city. And you can see, if you look real close, you'll see the Mount of Olives back there. So you see how close everything is. And this right here is the Kidron Valley between the uh, Gethsemane regarding the city and the old city walls of Jerusalem. You can see the Kidron Valley right here. It's a very famous valley throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament. It goes all the way through Jerusalem. And Jesus had to walk across it to get into the gates of Jerusalem after he was in the garden. 